Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. In this video, we're gonna be taking Fabio Worley through a strength and conditioning program down here at the Boxing Science Performance Center. Fabio has been on the program for over a year now, but most of this work has been done remotely. So I've been sending him the programs, so it's important for him to come in, track his data to see how much progress he's made in that year, but also set out new goals and set the program uh, leading up into his next fight. So today we're going to be taking through a strength conditioning workout. This is based on maximum strength. We're going to be using trap bar jumps, which is mostly associated with strength speed adaptations, but we're going to go a little bit heavier today towards 50%, 60%, one rep max, as this has been found to improve rate of force development and maximum force development. If you've got any questions about the workout, please hit them in the comment box below. I hope you enjoy the video. Good. Instead of coming wide with that rotation, to stroke your chest, you'll get a lot more from that thoracic part. Yeah. So stroke your chest, and you get a little bit more rotation. Yeah, still, still extend that arm. Yeah, good. Try and keep your hips facing forward, knee just off the floor, just so you create that little bit more stability in that hip, keeping it pushed back. Stroke your chest there, then come up. Right foot facing forward on this one. It's very easy when we're stepping out to the side. To open it up. To open it up. Get that glute working. Good, push it out with your knees, fantastic. Overhead box squat. It's just to get that depth and also work that shoulder range as well. Sitting in nice and deep. Then come up right. Press behind the head. Then back up. Good. Just eight reps. Arms a little bit wider. Just good. Roll that shoulder. Rotate. Rotate there. This knee has to stay in here because if it moves like it's been doing on the you know when lunge and rotate, I'm being correcting you. That film one is going to drop. Yep. Okay, so that's maintaining that knee position. It's separating upper body and lower body. This box here is making sure that you're having to rotate as much as you can. So you don't want to try and start flexing. Yeah. Well, start extending that lower spine to try and gain that leverage in rotation. Good. Try and keep that arm aligned because it's easy for that to fall in. So rotate, but keep this arm aligned. Good. Good. And then rotate through. Good. Keep rib cage down still. So all that movement's coming all from the upper spine. Gonna push hip forward there. You should really feel it right in that hip complex right at, right at the top. And then we're gonna work into three different areas. We need to rotate. And then I want you to reach over, okay? So hold it, 10 seconds. 10 seconds with a rotation, 10 seconds with a side reach. That side reach is very important for you because that works your TFL. Pushing that hips forward, keeping your core tight. Arms on opposite shoulders, deep breath in. Deep breath out, and then rotate. Deep breath in, deep breath out, try and rotate as much as you can. Hold it there, 10 seconds. Nice, back to the center. Arm up, this will be tough one for you. One arm up, yeah. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Ooh, yeah, tough one. Three, two, one. Squeezing that glute, keeping core tense. Okay. Hands on opposite shoulders. Take a deep breath in, then deep breath out. This is important to do because this just relaxes your upper body so you can get a little bit more rotation. One arm up, yeah. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Two, 
So we're doing an extended mobility circuit here with Fabio. Uh, this is really working on his hip mobility, glute strength, uh, shoulder range and rotational mobility. It's important for all boxers to do mobility training, but particularly for heavyweight boxers. You know, they've got long limbs, they've got big muscle mass, they produce a lot of force. So we've got to get that body moving right to try and avoid like, any niggles, any injuries that we can pick up in camp. So on this circuit here, we're hitting all the key areas that Fabio needs to work on. This is bespoke to his movement assessment the other day, uh, sorry, yesterday. And, you know, hopefully this has a massive impact not only on his movement and mobility, but his strength and his speed performance as well. Altitude landing into lateral shift. So we're gonna get that landing, then boom, big step out. It's not a, it's not a hop, we're moving both legs at the same time. We drive off this leg here, we open up this leg, drive, land. So it wants to be, yeah, it's two legs when we're moving across, but it's like boom, boom. Yeah, pushing off this leg. Our movement is gonna be a bit tricky, okay? So if you think, left leg's moving, right hand's moving, okay? Opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold, good, yeah. yeah. Hold for longer. You moved with your left leg first, you lifted up your right leg before you moved your left leg. So think there, left leg comes up, uh, okay. then shift across. Just need to make that legs more solid when you land the trailing leg. It's so like we land in, but then this leg's loose. So just Boom. when I get to the end, just Yeah, you've got yeah. to be you've got to be solid. We're gonna go split stance, hold it 10 seconds, and now I'm going to be pressing on your arms. Either way, you've got to stay nice and solid in there. No movement in this lower body. There, good. So you're activating this front leg, arm straight, okay, 10 seconds, three. Two, one, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. Good. So you've got to create that real solid base there. Mm -hmm. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. 7 kilo ball. I'm going to catch and throw. So, I'm going to split stance. Yeah. I'm going to throw it to you, you're literally going to catch and so, throw it, yeah. You generate a lot of power, a lot, a lot of power. Yeah. You can sit into your legs a little bit more. And this, like, we, we jumps, we squats, everything. And the, these are the little things that add the 1%. Stability. Good, good. Keep them hips closed when you're rotating. dip down, really get that relationship between your body, your feet and the floor right. So, boom, it's like, it's like the abbreviation sitting of through, sitting down on your shots. You know, when you're wanting to dig them in, you sit down on your shots, the same with the med ball throws. So this is setting up your camp. When we are doing the more dynamic throws, that you are sitting down into it a little bit more, getting more from your legs, more from your hips, transferring that force from foot through to fist. Stay low, don't drag. But stay low to the floor. It's the best one yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. A little bit quicker. So this is like a hot potato. Okay, get it in, catch it, and throw it out your hands quick. Better. Wait. Accelerating through, letting go of the bar at the top, making sure that your feet stay on the floor, making sure that you're getting that maximal 
Hip rotation. One, go. Good. Three, three. Go. Power, man. Don't fall over it. Three, four. Good. Start from the shoulder. Three, four, three. Yeah, good. Three, two, nine. Good. Power. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, nice. Three, two, three. Three, two, one, go. Yes, power, man. Three, one, two. Two, one, go. Good. One more. Three, two, one, go. Yes. 26% on your right. 13% on your left. Punching harder. See what you are at 40 kilos. Three, two, one, let's go. Power, man. Two, seven, seven. Three, two, one, go. Power, man. Three, two, one, go. Good. Two, six, three. Like that. Rather than trying to hold it there. Because when you're coming down with 100 kilos, shoulder's going to drop. You're going to go onto your knees. Chest up, shoulders pin back. Deep breath in. Drive it up. One, one, five. Let's go. Good. One more. Go. Yeah, 1.3. When you're going up towards 40%, one minute max, which you are on now, you're going towards like 1.2. So you hit 1.3 there. So you're hitting well within your velocity zone. Feel comfortable? Yeah. But stay leaning forward. Don't try and gain this lev leverage from using your upper body. It's all from your legs. Good. One, two, four. Brilliant. 108, chest up, shoulders pin back. Yeah. One, three. So we're going to grab the dumbbells. Starting off in a hip bridge position. So having the top part of your back against this bench here, with feet hip width apart, heels against the floor. Grab the dumbbells. And on this right here. Ooh. Drive them up using the hip extension to get that first initial movement and then bring the dumbbells in parallel. When you hinge, the dumbbells stay in the same position. They're not coming down. Keeping it close, using your lats, core tight, glutes tight. There, hold, come down. Brilliant, yeah. That's the start way down. Yeah, that's it. That far? Yeah. <laughs> Down and then up straight away. Yeah, nice. Feet facing forward, driving through your heels, feet on line with your hips. Other than that, pretty good. Uh, we can step up to 30 quite easily. Yeah. Grab the handle, pull it in. We're going to rotate our upper body. Then nice and slow. So when you've done it before, you've been like, leaning back quite a lot. This time I want you to be leaning forward, reaching, get that full stretch of your lats and driving it in. Foot back. Good, and keep that hip there all the way through. So it's just the upper body that's rotating. That's better. Keep them dumbbells high, remember. Keep them parallel. Yeah, that's it. Drive up, using hips, good. Feet turned in a little bit. That's it, that's better. Then drive it up, good. Core tight. And then up, boom. Good. Good work, that. Yeah, looking strong on that. Arms up, and then we're flexing with the knee, flexing with this arm here. We dip into the side, reaching up. So you should feel it all in your obliques there, all in your core. Three, two, one. Then same side. Three, two, one. We're gonna do uh, five each side of that. Legs long, and then you go, yeah, that's it. Three, two, one, good. Back to legs long, good. And go. Three, two, one, good. Nice, good. Driving through that heel. Keep glute tense. Okay, guys, that's an excellent session that we've done with Fabio today. Just refining a few techniques, 
some things that I can't do when I'm working with him remotely. So it's great to get in the weight room with him today, just get a little bit more activation out of them glutes, out of core and the key lifts, uh, and then just doing some more glute development. I think this is a key area for him to improve on. He's already strong, he's already explosive. We get them glutes nice and strong, go and see a more powerful Fabio Worldly. Okay guys, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.